Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Ulanzi uh, Mini LED, I guess it's called. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to open it up for you guys, show you guys how I'm using it, how I'm implementing it into my vlogs. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do run another channel, automotive channel, and uh, it is fast growing, but we do daily vlogs and something like this is definitely going to be coming in helpful when we're working on vehicles under the hood to get extra lighting exactly where we're pointing the camera. So let me show you guys this light. I haven't unboxed it yet and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna put it on my vlog setup and we'll go from there and test it out. Here's my current vlogging setup and it is compact, lightweight and can get into some uh, smaller areas when I'm working on vehicles. So this actually does utilize a couple things and if you guys are interested in this setup, um, I'll put it down in the description or ask me any questions about this. I'll also link my other video that I've reviewed all of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll unbox this, we'll see what's inside and how we're going to put it onto my current vlog setup. We'll figure all this out right now. So as soon as you open it, you're going to see a little instruction thing. You're going to see a little charging cable and then it looks like it's just going to be wrapped up in here. And just like that, there's the light. So it does look like it's got some other little hot shoe things or I guess cold shoes because there's no power on them. And it has an on and off switch. Ooh, she is bright. And then there's a left and a right arrow, which looks like the more you click to the right, the brighter it is. Because if I turn it down, you can probably see it's getting dimmer and more bright. So that controls the brightness and I'll take a look at the instructions quickly and see what else it says about this. So there's a little light there that says we need to charge it. Kind of cool. And what else we got? So left to right, it says for the brightness, the M here, function keys, switch brightness and power. So I guess this is to switch between the two. I think it's kind of the same thing, honestly. But, uh, and then the on and off switch, of course. So it goes through here and says the brightness, 20%, 40%, 60%, and so on and so forth. And also how much uh, electricity. So, oh, so battery display. So I guess if you hit mode, it tells you how much percentage battery you have. That's what it is. So you hit the M and it'll switch. And these LEDs that go across the top tells you uh, what the brightness is or how much electricity. So if we turn this on, this is our brightness, of course, and if we hit M, it's gonna tell us that we have four bars of power, not completely full. So it tells you how much battery is left on this thing. So there, we're on second brightness. Hit M again, it tells us we have four bars of power left on this thing, so that's pretty cool. So that's about it, pretty straightforward. Now let's figure out how to mount it onto our setup. Slides in, and then it has this little thing to snug it down onto whatever shoe that you're mounting it to. So it's kind of cool that I can just take this on, take this off. All I do is, as you can see, it's on here nice. And it's gonna loosen this little thing and then I can slide it right back off. So that is gonna work pretty good for us because it's not all the time that I'm gonna wanna have this big extra thing on top. But as you can see, we can use it like that. We've got the GoPro there. And I'm also gonna show you the new that tripod that I'm using or going to be using because this Joby has pretty much had it. As you can see, it's all collapsed after using it for about a couple of years. So, okay, so there we go there. And then we can just turn this on and we can see how much brightness we're applying. But I wanna go show you guys actually using this in its real environment because I need it right now. And that's why I'm showing you guys. We'll go test it in a real example. And that's the result we're getting on the GoPro. And I'll switch to that footage in a second. But then if we turn the light on, on the back, you can see we've got much better lighting and that's only on the minimal settings. So let me switch to the GoPro. I'll adjust the settings from the lowest brightness to the highest brightness. And you guys can see it coming right out of the GoPro. All right guys, so we're on the GoPro now, and if you guys know anything about GoPros, their low light capabilities are terrible. So if I turn off the LED, this is what we've got. This is the lowest setting. This is higher up, even more. It looks like we have, I guess, five settings of brightness. So this is on the third setting, fourth setting, and fifth setting. So you guys can probably see that it is working really good. If I turn this completely off, that's how dark it is. And then turn it on, 
look at that that's a huge difference you guys and even over here this room has zero lighting turn it on and all of a sudden we can actually film with this thing that is crazy and this is on the lowest setting let me back up for a second this is on the lowest power setting if i turn it up this is the second power setting third fourth and fifth that is crazy the difference and then again if i turn it off you can't see anything wow all right i'm sold on this already you guys let's go outside and i'll show you guys what i want to use it on all right so this is the workshop where we usually work on vehicles and this is kind of the thing that i want to use it on so we'll be under the hood i mean the garage itself has good lighting led everywhere but you start getting under the hood in some of these dark spaces and you lose what we're talking about so to see down here how we can't see if i turn on the light we can get right in here and see exactly the components that we are trying to discuss so this is going to be a huge help same with under here and this is on the lowest power setting you guys so we can start to see all in here if i turn this off that's what it looks like without it turn it on and this is the lowest setting i can still turn it up to the highest power setting and we can all of a sudden see way in here so this is going to be huge for our automotive channel you guys huge difference all right so that's going to do it for that review you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure you give this a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful or informative and it is an honest review i paid for this thing with my own money i'm just showing you guys my application of it and how it actually works in a real setting so um, if you guys have any questions on that definitely leave me a question down below and i'll do my best to answer it also i'll do a follow-up for you guys if you want let you know how it's working and how the battery life is because that's going to be the next big thing is how long does that battery actually last also make sure you guys are subscribed you guys and turn on that bell notification so you're notified of all latest videos i'm doing a lot of tech reviews a lot of diys and a lot of how-to's on this channel to help you guys out and uh thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next video